Hey everybody, today we're going to be installing our ELD kit number 100951. The first part of the ELD kit that we'll be installing is the pedestal and backplate onto the dash. To do that, we are first going to determine our mounting location. On this particular truck, it's going to be right on the side of the console. Then, we need to remove the faceplate from the dash to gain access to the inside of the dash panel behind our mounting location. Next, you're going to want to access the other side of the dash to determine if it is safe to drill the four holes if they are not already there. It's important to avoid drilling near any important electronics or gauges. Next, you'll want to drill the four holes into the dash if they're not already there. To do this, you can remove one of the pedestal bases and use it as a template for drilling the holes. Now that we've accessed to the back side of the dash, we're going to want to put a screw into the pedestal base. Then we want to put that through one of the pre-drilled holes and use it to line up the back plate inside the dash. Once the pedestal base and back plate are lined up, you can go ahead and add the rest of the screws and the lock nuts. Now we're going to use a 7mm wrench to hold the nuts in place while we drive the screws from the outer side. Now that we have everything back together with the pedestal base and back plate installed, we can attach the rest of the pedestal by putting it on and tightening the wing nut. And we also want to adjust the other side for the next step by tightening the second wing nut. To install the cradle onto the pedestal mount, we first want to remove the power harness. This needs to be installed into the vehicle's power system by a professional. To remove the swivel base, you want to loosen the center screw using a Phillips screwdriver. And once you have it all the way loosened, we can just remove the back plate by pulling it off. To attach the base plate to the pedestal, we're going to want to put all four screws into the base plate. After that, you want to line it up with the pedestal plate. Once we have the base plate on the pedestal, we want to attach the lock nuts and use a 7mm wrench and a Phillips screwdriver to tighten them down. Now we can go ahead and install the cradle to the pedestal. To this, you just need to align that same center screw to the base plate we've already attached to the pedestal. Once you've done that, you can tighten the center screw using a Phillips screwdriver until it's secure. We can then plug the power supply back into the cradle. To insert the device into the cradle, we have to unlock it using the provided key. Simply insert the key into the lock and rotate. Then lift up the lock block to make way for the device. Once the device is in place, you can slide the block back down to secure the device in and then press the button to lock it in place. We hope this video has helped. Have a great day.